Hi, I'm Obadard here with LoanSafe.org and RealEstateSmart.tv, the new generation and helping people online. Have a question here in regards to someone who was attempting a loan modification where they had faxed their paperwork back and forth for three months. And at the time when they applied, and they still, of course, have it, they have 25000 in liquid assets, and that was the reason they were denied. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat the, the question that they have here and the, the information they provided. Good, good evening, all. And of course, I'm answering you here, CPA357, in the forum as well. But other people are going to see this question, and I want to address everybody. So it says, good evening to all. Good evening, CPA. After three months of faxing 300 pages of requested documents to Bank of America, they let me know today that the underwriter denied me due to having liquid assets of over 25000 I had these assets when I applied. Seems they could have let me off the hook earlier before my fax machine asked for a raise and I burned a mess of paper. Seems that at least you could have your humor still. But anyways, it says, should I expect a letter with values explaining the entire reason for the disqualification? Also, customer service rep said that she would push my file over to the processor to look at an in-house modification. What does that mean? When I get the needed docs from Bank of America, I will determine if I need to appeal it. Thanks for all your help. So basically, the first question is, you were denied, and are you going to get any type of values or paperwork from them explaining their decision? Nine times out of ten, they're not going to tell you anything, and it's all verbal. Everything is basically done back and forth that way. And what you have to remember that's key when you're going for a modification or any type of help, whether that be on a credit card, whether that be for a mortgage or anything, they their number one job is to get that monthly payment and not to help you because you're a debtor. And usually they're servicing that debt for another company or another investor. So basically the number one job is not to help you. And number two, their number two job is to get information from you and decide, hey, how can we get our money from this guy? They're not actually getting that information to say, hey, how can we help Mr. Homeowner stay in his home and be all warm and fuzzy and, and have, you know, so he could loosen his collar and, you know, maybe go out to eat once in a while with his family and enjoy a movie or something. They don't really care about that. And you need to understand that. Their number one job is to get that monthly mortgage payment from you. And number two, when they're getting information, the first thing is to gather information to use against you and not necessarily to help you. And um, that's something you really need to understand. It's a type of game and poker that's being played between the debtor and the, the debt servicer, which would be your mortgage company right now. So you're not going to get anything probably uh, stating why. And, and the, the lip service, so they're going to push you over to the in-house modification. Yes, they'll probably do that. But you're still going to have some issues when you have $25,000 in liquid assets because the way they look at it, you need to cash those liquid assets and give it to them. You know, they want their money. So that's the way they look at assets, savings, anything like that that can be cashed, they're going to want to get it. And often you'll get denied because you have excess assets. So that's what you're, you're up against right now. You can apply for an in-house loan modification, but you still might have that same issue. But I do recommend you go that route and you maybe talk to a lawyer for you know $250 for an hour and see if you could maybe put those assets where they're not so liquid and the bank cannot do this to you and demand that they get that money. So good luck to you. I hope this answered your question. If you have any more questions, please let me know. Take care.